Hi, I am Pauline from Changi General Hospital. My colleague is Yok Fan from Singapore General Hospital. We will be sharing on post-stroke positioning and prevention of pressure ulcers. We will first touch on the effects of stroke on the musculoskeletal system and on skin sensation, followed by the objectives of positioning, the precaution we should take as we position the patients, the importance of positioning, the lifting technique required, and the role of healthcare workers in this area. After that, we will define what pressure ulcers are and what causes them, and lastly, the treatment and prevention of pressure ulcers. Stroke could cause muscle paralysis, muscle spasticity, and altered sensation like numbness and decreased proprioception. These factors affect muscle control and joint sense, leading to decrease in coordination, speed of movement, and mobility. With less muscular support and joint mobility, there are increased risks of shoulder subluxation, contractures, pressure ulcers, and chest infections. Positioning after stroke aims to facilitate optimal recovery by modulating muscle tone, providing appropriate sensory information, maintaining skeletal alignment, and preventing complications such as pressure sores, contractures, pain, swelling, and respiratory problems. Li Jong et al. found that patients who were given additional positioning procedure for two 30-minute sessions a day, five days a week, for the five weeks, had a significantly slowed down development of shoulder abduction contracture. By providing a stable base of support and appropriate positioning, we can ensure patient comfort, promote spatial awareness and maximal function, and also assist in safer eating. The common positions for stroke patients are upright sitting, side lying, and to a lesser extent, supine. Prior to sitting a patient out in a chair, we should assess the patient's arousal state. It will be difficult for a drowsy patient to maintain good posture and body alignment. Monitoring of the patient's vital signs, especially blood pressure, is essential in the acute phase of stroke. Hypertension or autostatic hypotension is a precaution to positioning. When assisting patients to roll into side lying or to sitting, Appropriate support should be given to the affected limbs. Do not pull on the flaccid shoulder as it could cause pain and dislocation. Pillows and rope towels may be used to ensure that skeletal alignment is maintained in the side-lying positions. When in sitting, the body weight should be distributed evenly between both buttocks and both thighs, with arms protracted forward and supported. Keep any at right angles and feet supported. Make it a routine to check on the pressure areas and work with other healthcare professionals to prevent skin breakdown. When transferring and positioning patients, it is important to support the patient appropriately as well as ensure safety for the patients and caregivers. Patients requiring minimal assistance may be transferred by one person with a stand-step transfer or a transfer board. Patients who require moderate assistance should be transferred by two people with or without a transfer belt. The two people helping with the transfer should work together to ensure safety for all. Hoists may be used to transfer patients requiring maximal assistance out to a chair and slide sheets may be used to help to position the patient in bed. Correct positioning post-stroke is important in a prevention of aspiration contractures, shoulder pain, swelling, and pressure ulcers. All healthcare professionals involved in the patient's care have a responsibility to promote and encourage the appropriate positions. Physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and nurses especially have a critical role to play. Other than ensuring correct positions, they have to educate the patients and caregivers so that Proper care may continue after discharge. What is pressure ulcer? According to National Pressure Ulcer Advisory Panel, it is defined as a localized injury to the skin and or underlying tissues, usually over a bony prominence. As a result of pressure, 
or pressure combination with a shear. A number of contributing or co-founding factors are associated with pressure ulcers. What are the various causes of pressure ulcers? Such causes include moisture from the body sweat, friction from shearing of skin, remaining in the same position. For example, post-operation as well as post-stroke patients with certain degree of paralysis. Other causes may include malnutrition, dehydration, as well as wet diapers that were not changed promptly. What are the treatments and prevention of pressure ulcers that can be rendered? Frequent turning is said to be the most efficient method of preventing pressure ulcers. Having adequate nutrient as well as keeping one well hydrated also aid in prevention. Other ways include frequent diapers changed to prevent skin maceration. Applying moisturizers and protective cream to the pressure ulcer prone area. Offloading pressure points, using mouth soap for cleansing, and also to walk the patient whenever possible, yet not compromising the safety. Correct positioning decreases complications associated with stroke, facilitate normal function and promote patient comfort. Hence, all the members of the healthcare team play an important role in performing or reinforcing correct positioning for patients with stroke. If you would like to watch a video on how to position a stroke patient, please refer to the YouTube link shown. Thank you.